Good morning, and thank you for joining Lakeland's Open House. I'm Leslie Moore, coordinator of Lakeland's Recruitment Center. I'll be joined live today by Yvonne Hillier, who serves as our recruitment specialist. During the open house, Yvonne will provide a general information session, but she will also be answering your questions posted in the chat feature. Also joining us live today is Allie Collingwood, marketing and recruitment specialist for Lakeland's Holden University Center. Allie will also be assisting with questions posted in the chat. If you are joining from a desktop computer, you should see the chat box in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. If you do not see it, click on the chat icon at the top right of your screen, and it should appear. You should then be able to type your question in the chat box and hit send. If you are working off of a phone, click on the icon on an upper body of the top right of your screen. A page will appear that shows participants. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you'll see a chat icon. Click on that icon, and you'll be able to send a question. Please send your questions to all panelists, not just the speaker or the host. This way, everyone can benefit from your question. Yvonne, if you could please send a good morning message in the chat, that would be great. Thank you. When you entered the open house this morning, all of your microphones have been set to mute. This is to ensure that all attendees are able to hear the speaker. We strongly encourage your questions and participation, so please be, please be sure to make good use of the chat box. You should all see a good morning message from Yvonne there now. Please note that if you are having technical difficulties with audio on your computer, you can call into the meeting by dialing 1-415-655-0002 and use the access code of 178-148-3925. Yvonne just typed this information into the chat box as well. Also, please note that you can change your view to full screen video of the speaker by clicking on the arrow box in the right-hand corner of the speaker video panel. Now, with all the housekeeping out of the way, I'm happy to welcome you all and thank you again for attending. In these unprecedented times, to ensure your safety and ours, we will be hearing from Lakeland leaders in short video segments. To start things off, I introduce Dr. Morge Beth Morris Beveridge, Jr., Lakeland Community College President. Welcome to Lakeland Community College. I'm President Morris Beveridge, and I'd like to invite you to tour the college in this virtual format and learn more about what Lakeland can offer to you. Lakeland Community College is unique, as it is the first college in the state of Ohio that was created by the vote of the people. Those enlightened voters knew well the value of having an educated populace and how that would positively impact the region. So, from humble beginnings in a few rooms of a Painesville City office, to today where we are located on a 400 acre campus with 11 buildings, the college's journey has been a remarkable one. Lakeland offers a gateway to a brighter future for those bringing the heart and determination to unleash their potential. The college is fully accredited by the Higher Learning Commission, and we offer over 130 degrees and certificates. This means our high-quality academics provides a vital pipeline of skilled employees to the regional workforce. It also means that students seeking four-year degrees can complete the first two years of classes at Lakeland, knowing their credits can transfer seamlessly to any state college or university in Ohio, all the while saving thousands of dollars. Lakeland also serves as a center for information, resources, and entertainment. The college offers symposiums, lectures, training programs, a large library, the Hive Makerspace, and a robust arts program consisting of concerts, gallery shows, and theater productions all easily accessible to members of the community. For over 50 years, Lakeland Community College has been shining a guiding light of opportunity. While recent events have provided unique challenges, we're focused and committed to thinking and acting anew while continuing to fulfill our mission to provide quality learning opportunities that meet the social and economic needs of our community. 
We warmly invite you to explore Lakeland as you consider your learning options. Thank you, Morris. Now, as promised, Yvonne is going to provide a quick overview of Lakeland, from national rankings to quality academics to paying for college and student life at Lakeland. If questions arise, go ahead and type them into the chat. I'll meet you back here after we hear from Yvonne. Good morning, everyone. Thank you again for joining us virtually. I look forward to telling you more about Lakeland and do a general overview for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Here are some recent national rankings about Lakeland. We were ranked number one best community college in Ohio, ranked number 36 in the nation by College Consensus in 2020, ranked number two community college nationally in student completion by the Chronicle of Higher Education in 2020, voted safest college campus in the nation by your local security in 2019, and voted top five student veterans of America chapter by the SBA in 2019 all right here in Lake County. So Lakeland Review, the college serves more than 13,000 uh, credit and non-credit students annually. The average age of full-time students is 21.3 years old. Average age of part-time students is 26.8 years old. 25.7% of our students are minority students. And our faculty staff ratio to student ratio is seven to one. Lakeland Advantage, our academic counselor support um, are there to create, to there to help create a support for our students with an associate degree or certificate completion plan. Evaluation of prior educational and work experience for possible credit for prior learning, commonly known as PLA. We have online course offerings to support and fulfill the general education course requirements of the associate degree completion plan for our students. And we have student success resources, including tutoring, the writing center, and library research assistance, all completely free um, for our students here at Lakeland. So let's dive in and talk about quality academics. We are accredited to the Higher Learning Commission. What that means is accreditation provides current and potential students assurance that they are receiving quality education for which it is recognized by such potential employers and licensing boards, and as well as other colleges and universities. So in case our students want to transfer or pursue a higher education um, and a higher degree, they are able to do that. We have dedicated faculty members with real-world experience, and that's great and beneficial for our students because um, our faculty members, some are currently working, for example, at Cleveland Clinic and UH. So for a lot of our students who are in health technology, they're able to get internships and even jobs lined up through those networking opportunities. Uh, we have small classroom sizes. Like I said, seven to one is the faculty staff ratio to student ratio. Um, so it's very beneficial for our students because they get that one-on-one -on -one time with the professor. They know you by name and they're able to have that time to dedicate to you. We have flexible classes, including an online, in-person, and hybrid format for our students. For those that don't know what hybrid formats um, are, it is in-classroom and um, online, a mixture of both. Here at Lakeland, we have over 130 degree and certificate programs. We have them um, listed and broken down to three different program paths, as we like to call them. The first path is called a transfer program path. It essentially prepares you to transfer to a four-year college and university. So you'll be coming to Lakeland, um, fulfilling those prereq core classes, essentially taking your freshman and sophomore year here, and then you can transfer it to finish and get your BA, bachelor's degree at a four-year institution. The next program path we have is a career program path, and that prepares you for a career in a high demand field. Most of our career program paths um, programs at Lakeland are about two years if you're going full time. So you can graduate, get a degree in that field, and start working right away. And then lastly, we have several certificate programs that we have available for our students, and they are there to help you improve your skills, advance in career, or get you job ready. Quality education for less. Lakeland's tuition is a third of the cost of most four-year colleges and universities. Um, as you can see, I'm going to pull it up, we do have what's called a two plus two tuition comparison calculator. Sorry, here we go. And let me make it full screen for everybody to see. 
So this is a 2 plus 2 tuition comparison calculator. It's a great tool to show you what a great value it is for you by coming to Lakeland. So you can input your residency here if you're a Lake County resident, other um, Ohio resident, or out-of-state resident. And then you can input three schools to compare. We have all the Ohio schools listed for you to choose from. I'll go ahead and pick Bowling Green, um, and I'll pick Lake Erie. They are close to home in our backyard here. And I'll pick my alma mater of Ohio University. So as you can see, it'll automatically populate for you what the cost would be on four years of tuitions and fees at that specific school, how much it would cost if you went two years at Lakeland and then transferred to that institution to finish. And then in the end, you'll see the um, cost savings in tuition by attending Lakeland. So as you can see, for um, Bowling Green and Ohio University, you'll be saving upwards of thirteen dollars to $14,000. And then for Lake Erie, upwards of $55,000 in tuition. That doesn't include room and board. I always like to tell my students and families that if you have to live on campus, please keep in mind that you'll have to pay you know, room and board, which could be upwards of ten dollars to $15,000 a year. So again, this is on our website. You can easily access it at any time, and you can utilize it and put in whatever school um, respectfully that you were looking at. So back to our presentation here. See, I also have a um, list it for you here. As you can see, some of the other schools that our students transfer to, and how much it would be, you know, full-time tuition for that academic year, and how much the annual savings would be for you by attending Lakeland. So moving forward, let's talk about financial aid and scholarships. We have an amazing scholarship opportunity for our students. What's nice is that it's one simple application that you can fill out, and it applies to over 250 scholarships that we have available here at Lakeland. And you can access that application through your My Lakeland portal after you've um, applied. And whatever you apply for and you get granted, um, they'll be automatically put into your account and will deduct from your tuition. We also recommend that our students fill out FAFSA, which is through the government. It's a free application that you can fill out. Please remember that it is completely free. Um, do not pay for it. If you go on to fill out an application that says, um, please pay $10 to fill that out, do not fill it out. It is completely free by the government. The website should always end in .gov. Um, and the application opens in October. For, so for any of my 2021 graduates, FAFSA will be available for you October 2020. And do make sure that you um, jot down our code here when you do fill out the uh, FAFSA. They ask for some of the school codes that you are applying to. So to make it easier for us to get your FAFSA code, um, please type that down and make sure you put that in your application. Types of financial aid that's offered um, through FAFSA would be federal grants. Federal grants are essentially free money that is granted to you through the government that you don't have to pay back. Um, and then lastly, if you're offered federal work study, you please go ahead and make sure that you fill that out as well. Federal work study programs are nice because um, they are jobs on campus for our students. So it's convenient that it's right on campus if you're already taking classes on campus. Um, we're very flexible with you. We know that your students first and foremost, so we can help you figure out, you know, a work schedule that also balances your um, class schedules. And then what's nice about that, too, is that when you go to fill out next year or the following year's um, FAFSA and you have to input your um, uh, how much you make the previous year, the money that you made through the federal work study will not work against you in the FAFSA, which is very beneficial. Um, I do want to mention that some forms that are needed to fill out the FAFSA would be um, the previous year's tax returns. So if most students are um, dependents, you will need to utilize your parents' tax return. But if you are independent, they'll ask for that form as well. So if you're filling out for this year 2020's uh, FAFSA, then you'll need 2019's tax return. And if there's any questions, I will have our financial aid department's contact information at the end. You can always contact them. They do offer one-on-one -on -one help, whether it's with filling out the FAFSA or filling out our scholarship opportunity. So how to apply. The first step that you want to do is to apply for admission. You can easily do so by um, going on to our website, lakelandcc.edu forward slash apply. I do want to mention that we are waiving the application fee until fall of next year, fall of 2021, so keep that in mind. 
And then um, after you apply for admission, you're going to want to submit your transcript and ACT and SAT score. If you are um, applying straight from high school, you can easily go to your guidance department, let them know that you applied to Lakeland, and they can send us your transcripts and ACT and SAT score. Um, if you are transferring as a, uh, um, applying as a transfer student or as an adult learner, um, please contact your previous um, institution and let them know that we'll need your transcripts. Um, if you have more than 15 credit hours from your previous institution, then we only need that transcript. If it is less than 15 credits, then we'll need your high school and um, that college institution's credit as, uh, transcript as well. I do want to mention that we do have step three. If you did not take the ACT or SAT, we have an in-house placement test that you can take in lieu of the ACT and SAT score. I also want to mention that it's not a pass-fail exam. It's an exam to help place us, um, place you, help us place you. In what um, college uh, level math and English courses. If you do not uh, place into a, a college level math or English class, then we know that we'll have to place you in remedial classes to get you prepared for that. So that's what that means. If you need any information or want to do a practice exam, please go to our website, lakelandcca forward slash placement. The test is called AccuPlacer, and we'll have practice questions and practice exams for you there. And then lastly, once you get steps one through three in, you're going to want to schedule and attend a mandatory new suit orientation. Please check your email, check your inbox. Um, that's where we'll contact you on how you can schedule that. Once you apply to Lakeland, we'll send you one email to that email address that you provided to us and say, you know, congratulations, you've been accepted. This is your My Lakeland login portal. Then moving forward, we'll um, be contacting you through your My Lakeland email. So it is very important that you check your college email, your Lakeland email, um, pretty often. Then once you schedule your new student orientation, during orientation you'll be getting a lot of information um, now that you are a student, and you'll also be able to meet with the counselor that day, um, and you'll be able to leave with your first semester's classes. So you'll be scheduling your first semester's classes during orientation. So very important and fun day. And then step five, make sure that you pay tuitions and fees. Um, I do want to mention that we do have a payment plan. Um, it's $25 to opt in, but it does split your payments into three payments, and that is um, opting in per semester. So 25 per semester to opt into that tuition payment plan. So as I mentioned before, here is our contact information. The recruitment center is myself and Leslie Moore. Uh, financial aid, uh, feel free to give them a call. And like I said, you can make an appointment with them, a uh, one-on-one. -on -one. And then the whole university center, which we'll get into and discuss um, and introduce you to later on. And that is their contact information. And we'll have this screen up um, throughout the presentation. Feel free to take a picture if you need so that you can um, contact us. We are working remotely, but we are offering one-on-one -on -one phone and virtual meetings like this to help you with anything. Um, you know, we're working in the evenings as well, if that's better for you. Let us know, and we'll work around your schedule to help you, um, you know, those questions answered. So without further ado, I'll send it back to Leslie, and we'll get right on with the presentation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your attention during that segment. As you can imagine, we get a lot of questions about enrollment, registration, financial aid, and paying for college. To help you answer some of those questions, we asked Melissa Amspa, Lakeland Senior Director for Enrollment Operations, to join us today by video. Hello, I'm Melissa Amspa, Senior Director for Enrollment Operations. The Student Service Center is Lakeland's one stop that assist students through the initial steps of getting started. Students come to the Student Service Center for admissions, financial aid, registration, and to make counseling and advising appointments. Let's dive deeper to explain exactly what that means. Once our students complete the requirements for admission, we want to ensure that they start on the right path for their educational goals. Our counselors work with students to explore areas of study, choose a major, and investigate transfer options. Whether students seek a degree or certificate, plan to transfer to a four-year institution, including our partners at Lakeland's Holden University Center, our counselors help them understand the requirements and map out the best plan. For our continuing students, we offer advising appointments to help them 
create an appropriate class schedule for their major that moves them forward by fitting in with the demands of their busy lives. Part of our mission is to seek out and remove obstacles that affect our students and replace those obstacles with solutions. For example, we fully understand that filling out the free application for federal student aid or FAFSA, which determines the amount of financial aid students can receive, can be rather intimidating. So within the Student Service Center, a financial aid expert works with students one-on-one -on -one to complete and submit it electronically. And if any additional forms are required, we walk students through that paperwork with our Verification Plus program. And lastly, we explain in plain English the financial options for paying for college, including our tuition loan payment plan, grants, scholarships, and the work-study program. That way, our students leave the office with a full understanding of the aid they can receive, as well as their responsibility for paying for college. Don't let the fear of how to get started in college hold you back from your dreams. Lakeland Student Service Center has helped thousands of students begin their college career, and we stand ready to help you make the first step towards yours. Thank you, Melissa. After paying for college, another top concern we hear from students and parents is academic programming. You heard from Yvonne earlier about some of the college's recent top rankings and that we are accredited through the Higher Learning Commission. We've asked our deans to join us to tell us a little bit more about academics at Lakeland and what that means for students who are planning to transfer to complete a bachelor's degree at a four-year college, as well as what that means for students who are looking for additional training to get started in our local workforce. You'll hear that there's something for everyone at Lakeland. To kick things off, I introduce Dr. Adam Clotier, Dean of Arts and Sciences Division. Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Cloutier, Dean for Arts and Sciences at Lakeland Community College. Many degrees and certificate programs in college require a specific number of credits to be taken in what's called general education courses. These core courses cross a wide range of study areas. They include mathematics, English, literature, foreign languages, the arts, for example, music, theater, painting, and ceramics, sciences like biology, chemistry, geology, and physics, social sciences, covering economics, history, psychology, sociology, and urban studies, and much more. At Lakeland, our general education classes not only satisfy our degree and certificate requirements, but most are part of the Ohio Transfer Module, meaning they are guaranteed to transfer to any public four-year institution in Ohio as credits towards the first two years of a bachelor's degree. This can save you thousands of dollars without jeopardizing the quality of your education. So whether they are taken at Lakeland or a four-year institution, standards and course objectives are the same. Students gain so much from taking classes in the arts and sciences. They acquire and refine skills in analysis, assessment, communication, evaluation, interpretation, as well as an expanded worldview. These skills serve as a strong foundation to uplift academic performance across other academic areas. Beyond the important concepts and knowledge base, our students also find avenues to unfurl their creativity and develop critical thinking capabilities. For some, taking classes in concentrated areas like the visual arts or music allows for the creation of an impressive portfolio that can open the door to advance their study and select programs at other colleges and universities. Discover the arts and sciences at Lakeland. We offer a huge variety of classes across many subject areas and themes so that you can satisfy your requirements and tailor your education to align with your interests. Whether you're taking the initial steps towards a bachelor's degree or seeking an associate's degree or certificate, the arts and sciences provide a perfect stepping off point as you move ahead in your college education. Thank you.
Welcome to the Division of Applied Studies at Lakeland. I am Dean Barb Freed. Agencies, businesses, and manufacturers are always looking for well-qualified candidates for immediate employment. Our division provides students with the knowledge and hands-on skills needed to be job ready upon completion of their education with us. Our students target their studies in fields such as accounting, business, criminal justice, early childhood education, engineering, graphic design, human services, information technology, media technology, paralegal, and welding. Lakeland students are trained with the latest in equipment, technology, and practices. For example, our engineering students gain experience on industry standard machinery found on manufacturing floors. And in our computer labs, students work with the most up-to-date computer information systems. Other areas of study provide coursework that dovetails directly into the current specifications and demands in their fields. For those needing an internship, Lakeland has relationships with many area employers who readily hire our students. And lastly, our fields of study are guided by special advisory boards consisting of area business leaders and experts. These advisory boards ensure the college tailors the coursework to match exactly the requirements needed for today's local workforce. Lakeland Community College offers students in the Applied Studies Division many pathways to advance in the employment realm. Job seekers with a degree or certificate from Lakeland often find themselves at the top of the list for consideration and good candidates for additional licensures or certifications. Learn more about the exciting fields of study in the Applied Studies Division where you can gain an education that prepares you to move directly into the job market in high demand fields. Hello, I'm Deborah Hardy, Dean of Health Technologies, Associate Provost for Teaching and Learning, and Dean of Faculty. Northeast Ohio is well known as a hub for world-class medical accommodations and research amenities. People travel to this region from all over the globe to gain access to a premier level of healthcare and groundbreaking innovations in medical science. Lakeland Community College serves an integral role in providing the essential manpower hospitals, facilities, and clinics need. We provide a host of degree programs and certificates. For direct patient care like nurses, occupational therapy assistants, surgical technologists, respiratory therapists, emergency medical, and medical assistant, just to name a few, to the vital support provided by professionals in biotechnology science, histotechnology, medical laboratory technology, and medical records. Our students serve in healthcare teams throughout the region. Lakeland's health technology students gain an outstanding education with a wealth of practical, hands-on training. Our faculty have decades of experience and are recognized as leaders in their chosen fields. The new Health Technology Building provides state-of-the-art laboratories, medical theaters, and simulation equipment to ensure our students have the expertise they need to succeed in today's healthcare environment. And in the fields that require specialized testing and licensure to practice, Lakeland has nearly 94% pass rate and is well known for graduating knowledgeable and accomplished students. If you're thinking of embarking on a journey to a healthcare career, consider Lakeland. We not only provide exceptional training, but our first-class reputation has led to extraordinary opportunities such as a special scholarship backed by Medical Mutual and Lake Health. Our community knows that Lakeland is a valuable asset for healthcare education.
in addition to quality academics, Lakeland offers a robust campus life and options for involvement, even in these virtual times. To walk us through some of those options, we've invited Dr. Jennifer Collis to talk about our honors program and Mario Petiti to talk about experiences in clubs through student engagement and leadership. Hello, I'm Dr. Jennifer Collis, Associate Provost for Strategic Educational Programs and Retention Initiatives. The Honors Program at Lakeland Community College offers high achieving students leadership development and opportunities for service, travel, and social activities while providing an excellent academic experience. Students can participate in special honors level coursework and research and career development programming that provide an impressive history of success and a unique portfolio to present to four-year colleges and universities. Honors Transfer Partnerships allow for a smooth transition to four-year institutions. Generous Honors Scholarships provide financial incentives and support for all eligible students. The Honors Program aligns both curricular and experiential opportunities to the Honors Pillars of Community, Leadership, and Opportunity. Students have participated in such community activities as Earth Day Beach Cleanup, creation of a veteran's garden, and an alternative spring break service trip. Leadership opportunities include membership in Emerging Leaders Program, Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and National Collegiate Honors Council. Admissions requirements include a 3.5 high school GPA or transfer and submission of SAT and ACT scores. Are you ready to pioneer new and interesting challenges? Learn more about this special program by visiting lakelandcc.edu slash honors. Welcome to Student Engagement and Leadership at Lakeland. I am Mario Petiti, Jr. I'm the Senior Director for Strategic Initiatives and Campus Engagement. College can offer an array of amazing experiences beyond the classroom. At Lakeland, we heartily encourage our students to participate in the many clubs and events offered through student engagement and leadership. These groups provide a wonderful way to meet new people and make lots of friends on campus. They also supply the perfect setting to follow a passion and share that excitement with others. The things that speak to your heart or the leisure activities you enjoy the most can really connect you with other students who feel the same way. At Lakeland, join one of our 30 plus student clubs and organizations. Or if you can't find something you like, let's start a new one together. By getting involved in campus activities, you open the door to grow as a person. Along with your classmates, you can participate in all kinds of activities on campus or in the community that build really valuable skills. For example, planning an event means you will learn how to organize a project, you'll work with the team on an important initiative, coordinate the details, and then fine tune how you communicate valuable information. Some of the more popular activities include our Emerging Leaders Program, the fan favorite and community favorite annual Halloween party, and our alternative spring break opportunity. You'll gain impressive leadership skills within the supportive framework Lakeland offers. Plus, you'll accumulate the kind of background that employers want to see on your resume and have fun while you're doing it. A great college journey is adorned with memorable experiences. Lakeland offers many ways to flourish as you progress through your education. While you're expanding your mind in the classroom, why not enrich other aspects of your life? We can help you amplify who you are and propel you toward the future you desire. Thanks, Jennifer and Mario. Good morning. I am Allie Collingwood, and I serve as the Marketing and Recruitment Specialist for Lakeland Holden University Center. As a Lakeland grad, Hearing Mario talk about all the activities available at Lakeland brings back happy memories. After I graduated from Lakeland, I continued my education at Lakeland's Holden University Center, 
transferring my credits to Hiram College and graduating with a bachelor's degree in marketing. Today, I'm here to introduce Lori Shook, Lakeland's Transfer Center Assistant, and my boss, Christina Willey, Director for the Holden University Center. Both Lori and Christina will talk about transfer options for those students considering continuing their education after graduating from Lakeland. And stay tuned. After we hear from Lori and Christina, Leslie will meet you back here where we will hear from our student panel and go through questions that have been coming in through the chat. Hi, welcome to Lakeland's Transfer Center. I'm Lori Shuck, Transfer Center Assistant. For many students, Lakeland is the first step on their higher education journey. Students can save on the cost of their education by completing the first two years of a bachelor's degree with us and then transferring credits to most four-year colleges or universities. Lakeland Community College is nationally accredited by the Higher Learning Commission and our courses are recognized by all other accredited colleges across the country. That means the credits from Lakeland can transfer to private or out-of-state institutions. Depending on the major, students may be able to stay at Lakeland to finish their four-year degree by participating in a partnership program offered at Holden University Center. Lakeland's Transfer Center assists students in all phases of transferring college credits to and from Lakeland Community College. We can help students research four-year institutions, investigate programs of study, complete the steps to transferring credits to Lakeland, and help submit and track transcripts when sent to another college. We also maintain a calendar of regularly scheduled visits, either in person or virtually, by other college or university representatives and host a college transfer fair. If your goal is to start at Lakeland and then complete a bachelor's or graduate degree at a four-year institution, let us help you define your destination and clarify the steps to your path. Hello, welcome to Lakeland's Holden University Center. I am Director Christina Willey. For many years, the community requested that Lakeland Community College find a way to provide access to higher education on our campus. So, in 2011, Lakeland Community College built the Holden University Center, a state-of-the-art facility located directly across from Lakeland's main entrance, where students can complete a bachelor's and graduate degree from a variety of leading colleges and universities. Today, we offer 23 bachelor degree programs, 14 graduate degree programs, seven graduate certificates and endorsements, and one doctoral program from 11 university partners. Classes are taught by Holden University Center partners, and graduates receive their degrees from the college or university of their degree program. The degree is the same as if students completed the program at the four-year campus. Partnership students are also afforded all of the same services and amenities on campus that are available to Lakeland students. Tuition and fees for the degree programs are determined by the university partner, but on average, students can save over $20,000 in tuition costs. The Holden University Center provides a wonderful opportunity for community members and Lakeland students to continue their college education. Working people who want to change directions or advance their present careers find an ideal way to obtain the credentials they need with the convenience of staying close to home. Are you thinking of earning a bachelor's or graduate degree? Visit our website at lakelandcc.edu slash uc or sign up for one of our monthly Holden University Center night information sessions offered the last Wednesday of each month at 6 p.m. You'll hear about degree programs from our partners and learn how you can take the next steps to getting started today. Thank you, Lori and Christina. If you when you registered for this session, we ask for questions for our student panel. Thank you to all of you who submitted questions to help us build this segment of our open house. You asked and we have the answers. After hearing from our students, 
We'll go into the live chat questions. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Leslie Moore, and I'm the recruitment coordinator here at Lakeland. Thank you for joining us for our student panel this morning. Um, I want to thank all of our student panel participants for volunteering their time. Uh, when our guests registered for our open house, they had the opportunity to submit questions for our student panel. And uh, we're going to go through those questions and give um, everybody a chance to respond. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to ask if everybody in the group would please just go through the line and uh, introduce yourself and let us know what high school you attended. Grace, if you want to get started us, that'd be great. Hi, my name is Grace Romick, and I graduated from the class of 2020 from Harvey High School. Hi, my name is Jessica Ailes. I graduated from Geneva High School in 2009 uh, through attending the Ashtabula County Vocational School. Hi, my name is Tim Carlisle, and I graduated from Mayfield in 2016. Hi, I'm Rebecca Lessine. I graduated Wycliffe High School in 2010. Hi, I'm Rachel Tedwell. I graduated from <clears throat> West Geauga High School in 2018. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Um, if we could just also go through the line again, and um, if you guys could each let us know what it was about Lakeland that made you choose Lakeland. Why was Lakeland the um, best choice for you? Affordability was one of my top reasons why I chose Lakeland, because there was another four-year school in Ohio that I was looking at attending, um, but it was a private school, and then I realized it would have cost around $100,000 for four years there. Um, and then also the honors program was a big asset as to why I chose Lakeland because it has many opportunities for leadership and scholarship. So I am actually an Air Force veteran and I got out of service in 2017. When I got home, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with my life. And one of my friends suggested Lakeland to me because they have an excellent veterans program. So the reason that I chose Lakeland is because not only did my dad and uncle attend Lakeland in the late 80s or in early 90s, but when I went to visit campus, it just felt right for me. I really loved the community college aspect. And like the other panelists mentioned, you can't beat the affordability of community college. And I chose Lakeland because of um, affordability and location were obvious factors, but I also know quite a few relatives and friends that attended Lakeland and had awesome experiences. Um, affordability and location are definitely a big thing. Um, it's a lot cheaper than staying somewhere and like paying for room and board and like a food plan and everything. Um, my mom went to Lakeland and like I have friends that go there and stuff. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I This is a question that might not apply to everybody. So if it does apply to you, if you just want to raise your hand, and that is, um, did any of you start out at Lakeland as a CCP student, which stands for College Credit Plus? And if so, what made you stay to con continue your education here at Lakeland? Does that apply to anybody? Grace? Yes, I started at Lakeland as a CCP student, and I had an overall good experience with, and it got me introduced to what the college experience was like, as well as what it was like being a student at Lakeland. So that definitely was, um, that helped me want to attend Lakeland and continue my studies there. Uh, wonderful. Um, Grace, could you tell us how many years of CCP did you do? Did you just do your senior year? Did you do a couple? Um, I did a few classes here and there. Um, um, <laughs> I did two classes my senior year, one in the fall and one in the spring, and that um, had the biggest impact on me. Right, wonderful, thank you. 
Thank you. Um, this is a question for the whole group. Um, if you could just let us know um, what it is that you do that helps you juggle um, your class schedule, all your homework, and working if you also have a job at the same time. Do you have any tips for the group? For me, what I found best is planning ahead. I like to make sure that I can focus certain time on college as well as focus certain time on work and relaxation. And luckily, I'm able to split my schedule where I work some, focus on work some days and then focus on school. Um, my biggest lesson with this was definitely getting a guidance counselor to help you uh, schedule your classes to balance with your lifestyle. And most importantly, buy yourself one of these bad boys so you can just make sure that you have everything scheduled out. And then you can like coordinate to plan. So my biggest piece of advice to managing work and the college schedule and everything all at the same time is definitely what they told me at orientation in the fall of 2016, and that is to get active and engaged. The more active and engaged you are with the college, the more successful you'll be. That's a direct quote back from the orientation over four years ago. I still remember it. And that piece of advice, I stuck with and ran with it. And it is the reason I'm on the panel in front of you today. Um, I got active and engaged and it's helped me find success. So that's the best way to manage the schedule and independence of college for me. All right, and I'm gonna piggyback off Tim a little bit here. Um, I also got involved on campus and picked up a few um, student worker positions um, through the federal work study program. And it is great because they are very flexible with your schedule. Um, so you could have like, I've had many, many variations of a, col a class schedule for each semester and every time they've accommodated me. Um, so that makes it extremely easy to manage. I like to make to-do lists. Um, that just helps me kind of like map out what I need to do. And like my work schedule is pretty consistent and like I have like a couple days of the week. Like Thursdays are my days that I usually like get everything done because like I don't usually work on Thursdays and like then I have my online class at like it's in like the middle of the day. But um I also got involved. I am in one of the clubs through SEAL. Um I used to work at the school my freshman year, I worked in Breakers. That was interesting. Uh, and then I worked at um, Cardinal, but that wasn't like through Lakeland. There was just a partnership with Lakeland. And um, yeah, I don't know. Getting involved was really good for me. So it gave me like a place to like be and like make friends and like, you know, feel like I had like a my own little like niche. Rachel, when you say Cardinal, are you referring to the uh, Cardinal Community Credit Union? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we, there is a branch on campus. Yeah, that's the one that worked out. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, another question that uh, was submitted that's for the whole group, and that is, can you just let us know if, um, do you feel safe on campus? Yes, I feel safe on campus. I've even taken a few evening classes at Lakeland and I've never felt threatened or felt unsafe. I feel extremely safe on campus. I got extremely involved with the veterans program and the Student Veterans of America organization. I got to know the police department really well and I assure you that there's an excellent team that helps protect the campus and keep everyone safe and they're readily available to any problems or issues that you have. So myself being a very large male, I'm very privileged and I have always felt safe on campus, but not only because of that, we do have a full time police department that is absolutely amazing. They're very friendly. I've made friends with them over my time at Lakeland 
and they have a variety of amazing services to provide for students to feel safe. Um, they'll escort you to your car at night if you're taking classes, like Grace mentioned. Um, if you're having issues getting into your car, they can help you. If you've got a flat tire, they can help you. There's just so many things that the Lakeland Police Department does that um, helps me feel safe on campus. They're a great resource. All right, and yeah, I also think, um never been threatened or anything, felt, you know, unsafe, never had a reason to. Um, also being an orientation leader, um, it's a part of the tour to show everybody, you know, where the police phones are located on campus. So that's always helped me feel, you know, more secure. And there's also the, um, the safety app that you can download, which is the campus um, police app. I've never felt unsafe at the school. Um, I mean, there's always like the cops walking around like at all times, so that's assuring. Um, if we ever need a door open or something to somewhere, like for after hours at the school for like doing whatever for like cab or setting up, da da da, they'll open the doors for you, and that's nice because you know you just just dial and someone's always there. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Thank you. Um, this is a question that might not apply to everybody, and it might, I don't know. And that is, um, have, it's a two-part question. Have you utilized the tutoring services in the Learning Center? And if so, would you recommend that? Jessica, do you want to go? Sure. Um, I definitely utilize the Learning Center a lot. Um, they have a testing center as well. So if there was a happenstance where you missed an exam or anything uh, and you let your professor know, you can take your test in the testing center. Uh, also, they have an excellent team of tutors. And anytime I have ever had struggles, I just go into the tutoring center and I've always received the help I needed. And even during virtual learning, I needed help writing a paper and I was able to get in with the writing center that very same day and we fixed the issues and I got an A on my paper. So I highly recommend the learning center. Wonderful, thank you. Grace, I think you had your hand up too. Yeah, I've good experiences with the learning center as well. When it comes to tutoring or also, like Jessica said, the writing center, they have a lot of open availability uh, that can fit with your schedule. And they have a lot of tutors and people from the writing center that can help you out. And I found that it helped me practice things that I needed to work on as well as um, get things clarified and things that I had questions on. And I think it's a great resource that students should take advantage of. It is free. And also, um, sometimes professors will even give you bonus points for uh, going to the writing center and using that resource. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, Becca, I think I saw your hand up. Yeah, so I've used the writing center um, quite a few times on campus, and um, I think it's a great resource. Um, it's always like very helpful, at least for me, to hear feedback from you know another source, not just the you know, your teacher, because it's going to be the same um, tone of feedback every time from the same person. When you hear, you know, different angles, different perspectives, it can help you wrap your head around, you know, different concepts. I think that's really helpful. I would recommend it 100%. Okay. Great, wonderful. And then Tim, I think you had your hand up. So everything all the panelists said have been amazing and almost as amazing as the people down in the learning center themselves. Um, they're very personable people. Chad and Suzanne have helped me over my time at Lakeland. And like the panelists said, all the tutoring down in the Learning Center is free. And it's there for students to take advantage of. That's something else that we point out on the tours at orientation. And honestly, like the panelists said, you can get extra credit for some classes for certain professors. For going down there, they have amazing services. And if you take a paper to the Writing Center, um, it's almost guaranteed that your paper will go up a whole letter grade. As long as you take something to work with there, they can coach you through it and help you to raise your paper by a whole letter grade. And they told me that and my mom, who was with me at orientation, like almost broke my rib elbowing me like you need to take advantage of that. That's huge. 
the the writing and learning center amazing the tutoring phenomenal and i highly recommend you take advantage of it well thank you jessica did you have something else you wanted to add I did. Um, we talked about the writing center a lot, but I didn't want to discount all the other subjects available for tutoring because I have utilized the, the math in minutes through a lot of my math classes and chemistry classes. And also they, you know, the math in minutes section, there's actually students that are tutoring students too. So it kind of becomes a little community and that's another way to engage with and learn, but, uh, but sorry, meet other students on campus. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Rachel, did you have anything on that? Yeah, um, I really enjoy the Learning Center because I made math super easy because it was nice to have someone to walk me through, like, you know, the the math, math in minutes or math by minutes or something. Or they, I can't remember what it's called, but they have something like that. And um, I also like... Um, how they have like the one room or let's say you have to take like an official test or something or like you have to take an exam for like et cetera or whatever you know i mean there's a lot of computers it's a nice space good computer lab um and you know you're like assured that your stuff's not gonna get stolen because like they have like the little lock boxes and uh yeah okay. all right wonderful well thank you thank you uh everybody for that. So this is a question, and I think it's the last one for the whole group, and that is, um, what has your overall experience at Lakeland been like? Overall, my experience at Lakeland has been positive, and I received a good education, and I'm meeting new staff and new students who are willing to answer any questions I have and be supportive. And Anything from getting to involved on campus, I um, met students and helped. Me. I have loved my experience at Lakeland. Um, I have had nothing but success and doors to opportunity open, and it honestly changed my life. I've met friends that will last for a lifetime, and. I just can't even express how wonderful the professors that I have are and how accommodating all the faculty and staff is. My experience at the Lakeland Community College has been nothing short of remarkable. Honestly, when I first came to Lakeland, I saw the slogan that opportunity starts here, but it wasn't until that I actually started acting, actively engaging with the college that I realized how much opportunity really does start right here at Lakeland. And the community college aspect has been absolutely incredible for me. Um, I can't walk through the hallways without seeing a friend I made in college or a friend of a friend from high school or just someone I know. And it, it's a really great feeling. You know, I always feel like I've got a community with me and it's awesome. So my experience at Lakeland has been absolutely incredible. Yeah, my experience has also been great. Um, having worked, you know, a few different positions on campus as a student worker, I've made a lot of friends, um, you know, through that those programs. Um, I also had amazing professors, um, you know, picked up a few um, awesome referrals for the future um, and just made awesome connections all the way around when it comes to professional relationships and personal relationships. My experience with Lakeland has been good because I have made a lot of friends and it's given me a lot of chances to meet good people. Uh, like uh, the Women's Center has been nice, people in the SEAL office, um, Learning Center is good. Just overall, the staff is very like giving, like they, they have a lot of opportunities for you to like, I don't know, like kind of benefit from what they have to offer. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Now, Rachel, when you say SEAL, is that student engagement and leadership, the, um, mm -hmm. the, the clubs and organizations are run out of? Right. Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful, wonderful. All right, so this is the last question. It might not apply 
most of you guys just want to raise your hand if it does apply to you, and then we'll, we'll go around. Um, are any of you close to graduating? And if so, what are your plans for after graduation? Becca? I will be graduating um, either the spring or the summer will be my last semester, 2021. Um, after that, I will be transferring to Kent State. Um, so that'll be fall of 2021 that I'll be um, transferring there. And I'm majoring in um, geology. So I've just been taking as many science courses as I can at Lakeland that will transfer over appropriately. All right, wonderful, wonderful, great. Tim, I think you had your hand up. So I graduated in the class of 2020 from Lakeland Community College. I actually graduated remotely. And um, my plans after um, this semester, because I actually came back to Lakeland, I am four credits away from earning a video production and broadcast certificate. So I'm taking up those last few classes, trying to finish those now that I've been taking for a few years. And I'm planning on transferring to Cleveland State through the Holden University Center and pursuing a Bachelor of Arts in Organizational Leadership, which is one of the programs they have over there. So, yeah. Wonderful. And then I think, Jessica, you had your hand up. I did. Um, I graduated spring of this year, May 2020, and I earned two degrees at the same time, one in uh, my associates of arts and my associates of science. And now I am also, along with Tim, uh, working through transferring to Cleveland State University through the Holden Center partnership. So I'm really excited about that. And I think we're going for the same degree too, because I'm going for organizational leadership. Oh, wonderful. All right, wonderful. Thank you guys. Um, did anybody else have any anything they wanted to share there? I just want to make sure I didn't miss any hands. All right, well, that is our full list of questions. I want to thank the student panel volunteers this morning for your time and uh, for sharing your information with us. I also want to thank our guests who submitted questions um, so that we could put the, the panel together. Uh, and this concludes our student panel question and answer session. Thank you. Thank you again for the questions that were submitted early on. This allowed us to hear directly from some of our students. We've also received some great questions this morning through the chat. Yvonne and Allie will uh, now um, help with those questions. Um, in the meanwhile, uh, if there are any new questions, go ahead and type those in now. Um, Yvonne, can you read uh, our first question? So I had a question from a student who asked about IEP. We do have a student accommodation center who will sit down with you. Um, it is case by case, but they'll want to get to know you, we'll talk to you, and get you for their accommodation. I did put their phone number in our chat box if you would like to call them and make an appointment. Um, we have another student who says that she will be a student for 2020-21, and she already filled out the FAFSA Will she need to fill it out again? No, you do not. Um, you can just go back into your FAFSA and add our access code. Um, and at that way, we'll be able to access your FAFSA application. And then let me scroll back up here and see what other questions I have. Um, let's see. Um, sorry, I have to scroll through all of these things that we've been chatting about. Um, the next one is about our YouTube link. So we do have a YouTube channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, and then for those that want to review all of the videos that we have today, we will be sending up a follow-up email with those links provided so that way you can see um, these videos again. And that's all the questions that I have on my end. Allie, how about you? It looks like there wasn't any questions specifically about the Holden University Center, but of course you guys will have um, our official website to explore our different partnership programs. Um, I believe two students in the student panel are graduating on to the Holden University Center for their Bachelor of Arts in Organ Organizational Leadership. And if any of you are interested in kind of going down that path and working towards one of our bachelor degree partnership programs, give us a call. Our contact information is there. Um, and we do have our Holden University Center nights, the last Wednesday of every month. The, the first one in the new year is coming up in January. So you can register online, give us a call and register over the phone. Um, 
And it looks like we have a question. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, your plan is to transfer to CSU after going to Lakeland. Um, that's a really good question. So if your plan was to transfer to CSU um, within a partnership program, so through CSU, um, through the partnership program at the Holden University Center, we offer a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Bachelor of Arts in Organizational Leadership, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Arts in Urban Affairs, and Bachelor of Arts in Public Safety Management. Um, so if any of those programs are ones that you kind of wanted to go after, then we would then set you up with a CSU representative for our partnership programs, and they can answer all of those questions for you regarding scholarships, financial aid information. However, if you're interested in any other programs outside of the partnership, you would then talk to Lakeland's Transfer Center. And they will then pretty much do the same thing, connect you with a representative from Cleveland State um, to see if those scholarships at CSU would still apply. Um, and that'll be, you know, further down the line once you earn more college credit at Lakeland. Um, so that's kind of how we split it up. So the Transfer Center is anything other than the partnership programs um, that the Holden University Center offers. And then the partnership programs, you would talk to me, um, and I would set you up. Um, and again, our contact information is right there. I don't know if you want to add anything, Yvonne. <laughs> And um, like I mentioned prior to, if you have any questions further and don't want to ask us via chat, feel free to give us a call. We can always set up an appointment with you one-on-one, -on -one, again, phone or um, virtual like this, and help you privately as well. Yvonne, we did have a question come in for the student panel, and it really didn't apply to the student panel. It was more of an administrative question. And that somebody had asked what the minimum ACT score is. Uh, to be accepted at Lakeland. Could you go over that, please? Sure. Great question. So we do not have a minimum ACT or SAT score to be accepted. The reason why we ask for those scores is it does help place you in what English and level math courses, or yeah, English and math courses. Um, if you don't place into a college level course, then we'll know that you'll have to be put in remedial courses to get you prepared. So that's what those scores help us do, um, but there is no minimum uh, score to get accepted in. I hope that answers your question. And then the only other question we have, and in the meanwhile, if there's any other questions somebody wants to put into the chat, oh, I do see we have one now, uh, Ivana. Do you guys uh, know anything about the dental hygiene program? Yeah, so we will. I will definitely touch base with you, Taylor, and talk to you more about the dental hygiene program. We have, like I said, over 130 degrees to your program, so it's hard to get into the specifics of every program here at Lakeland, but I'll definitely reach out to you, and I can set up an appointment, and I'll be happy to talk to you more about the dental hygiene program. All right, wonderful. The only other uh, question I had that came in. Um, was uh, how do uh, how would a student find scholarships here at Lakeland? I know you talked about the one-stop uh, scholarship application. Maybe you could touch on that again. Sure, yes. So once you apply to Lakeland, you'll get a My Lakeland Portal login. And through that login, you'll be able to access the uh, scholarship tab. And you can access that application. Like I mentioned, it's one easy application you can uh, fill out. It's nice because it's not, you know, one application per scholarship. It's one application you have to fill out, but it applies to over 250 scholarships that we have available for our Lakeland students. And whatever you apply, you know, whatever that's eligible for you that you're granted, um, it'll be automatically put into your account and deduct from the tuition. But yeah, one application, and it applies to over 200 scholarships that we have available for our students. Again, that is on our Lakeland My Portal um, that you can access once you apply for Lakeland. Wonderful, thank you. And as far as the deadline for that uh, scholarship application, because we are on rolling admissions, um, you would have an opportunity to um, complete that application even after your semester has started. Um, however, um, it's the early bird gets the worm when it comes to any type of financial aid that includes federal or uh, scholarship opportunities within, a, within our own school. So this, if you know you're coming in fall of 2021, um, you need to be um, looking into all of those um, financing options now, actually, and, um, and preparing. So, all right, wonderful. Um, and doesn't look like we uh, have any more questions at this point. Oh, it looks like once you submit your transcripts and you have your ACT, SAT scores, then uh, you won't have to take placement tests. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Yes, I had a student ask me um, 
She got an email about taking the placement test, um, and can I still submit my transcript or do I take the placement test? So if you submit your transcript to us and the ACT score or SAT score is on your transcript, then you do not take the placement test. But if you submit the transcript and there is no you know, score because you didn't take the ACT or SAT, then you will need to take the placement test. All right, wonderful, thank you. Um, as we get ready to conclude, I want to let uh, everyone know that our fall 2021 admissions application is open, and we are waiving the application fee for fall 2021 students. You can find that uh, online application at lakelandcc.edu forward slash apply. Um, Yvonne will put that address in the uh, chat so everybody can uh, see, see where that is. Uh, but I want to thank everyone for joining us this morning. We know that questions may come up as you are making your college decision. Yvonne, Allie, and myself are here to answer those questions for you. Uh, on screen, we have our contact information, or you can visit our website at lakelandcc.edu forward slash visit. Um, and uh, for more information, or if you want to watch the day or some uh, some evenings, uh, we are available for live chat as well. If I'm just put the uh, um, Lakeland address, website address in as well. So this concludes our session this morning, and I want to thank everyone for joining us. And you'll be hearing from us um, soon via email uh, for follow-up information uh, from today's session. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Have a great weekend, everyone.